Now he's going to be forced to Lalo through the town hall. I don't think he has a choice anymore. His queen will go to ability. He'll go invisible and for... Oh my god, what? That was clever! Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first coverage of the Imperium Clash League. And we have their namesake to start it off here. It's Imperium Titans going against Entropy Gaming. We are kicking off here with a favorite. It is Kingsman. And he's going to be opening up with a zap into Electro Titan smash attack here. Opening with the Warden down south. He can use the Warden with the Poison Lizard to maximize the speed the warden moves through that area of the base there just wants to get this mortar out of the way because he will want the flame flinger to go in there and secure the town hall so anything that can outrange the flame finger are his priority targets and he will be able to outrange this other expo on the other side of the town hall so he can safely move in there and take it down but he has to be mindful of the traps in the area need to be ready to deal with anything that would pop out of the ground any teslas any ground skellies any giant bombs you can see already that multiple giant bombs went off here and if any of those hit the flame flinger it will severely weaken it and potentially make so that he doesn't get the town hall down but he's going this he's heading this warden walk all the way in to go take the wizard tower after the wizard tower goes down that he can pull the warden out of there we don't really want the queen to go inside of that compartment if she can stay to the outside that'd be great she doesn't want to play that game though but he can wall break at the intersection to get a transition fairly easy so he could definitely work with that he's got another wall break and he'll want to wall break into this defensive queen pad i assume to see where he decides to move into that area but you have the jump and using the jump really early into an electric titan attack when you have so many walled off areas on the back side of the base always is a little bit worrisome we'll see how he handles it but as soon as that defensive rage tower goes off he pops the ward ability and he'll absorb most of the damage there including the eagle artillery strikes that came at him flame Flinger is locked onto the town hall now and he will secure the takedown without any drama there everybody is staying away from the town hall and the jump carried him away from the town hall even further so that he can just safely secure the town hall without it dealing any miscellaneous damage to his other troops but the king the world champion and at the top Rapid of the Eagle Artillery will push everybody down the channel here. If they're going to have to attack a wall, it's better that they just stick together. But he did lose up all of his healers there. There's a handful of Electric Titans still moving. He can't reach the Flame Flinger on the back side of the base. So it's going to be very, very important that he protects his Royal Champion through here. There's not a lot he can do at this point to protect her further than he already has. But he'll pop his Queen ability and try to get her through the wall. If she can at least control the Scattershot until the Royal Champion can get there, then he can definitely still pull through on this one. But it looks like down south, the Flame Flinger, after taking the Town Hall, opens up into a Yeti and an Electro Titan. They come out at a perfect time to give the World Champion any additional support. But she's seeing giant bombs. The Diggy dies. And now it's up to the Queen and the last Electro Titan to power through. He's got the Warden that hopefully would switch over to the Electro Titan's targeting. But it's stuck on the Queen's targeting. And that Electro Titan is going to end up dying out. But the Queen had the tanking just long enough. She's able to set through. And she takes the last Expo down. But look at this. The time is up and he's got enough force to finish it so very close here but that warden walk maybe took a little bit too long he did finish the warden walk in about a minute but he maybe needed to finish it in about 50 seconds pass it over to reen let's see what he can do here for the open attack for entropy looks like reen is sending in a blimp carrying super archers and it doesn't look like he's aiming for the town hall on this one here. There's a lot of value in this area of the base there. And he runs right into a tornado trap as he begins to path into the base here. The sweeper not knocking him back, though. He's able to absorb two black air bombs after coming out of the tornado trap and travels all the way across the base. Maybe the town hall is a viable target here. Engages the defensive queen with the poison lizard and the warden. Although the warden doesn't want to participate in that fight. And he doesn't want to wait. He got the he got the model down as the super archers were firing backwards into the base here. He's got the super archers landed directly on top of an inferno. And they weren't even targeted, but they were able to take it down. He's got some damage onto the town hall now. He will secure that. He got the queen. He got the road champion. Guys, there's nothing left to this base. The super archers have completely gutted it. But he's not out of this yet, because there's still a rage tower with a lot of defenses in the top corner, and that's a very scary area of the base. Let's see if he can handle it, though. The heroes seeming like they're going to be going south, which means he will need to charge in the Lalo through a raged up multi-inferno and scattershot with no spell support and no warden support. 
So they're going to have about half the HP that they normally would when you have the Warden giving them the support that he likes to give, boosting them with the aura to their HP. But he will, at a minimum, get his heroes to clear out this bottom corner. Not too worried about that. That's going nice and smooth. He got all the battle builders that were in the area to be destroyed with the Super Archer Bomb. So any damage that was sustained in the top there will stay. And now we start in the top corner, the most threatening area of the base. If he can move through this, he can triple, but it is very dangerous. And it has a Tesla farm popping up on top of everything else there. RC pops her ability. Crown Skelly's gonna tie her up and you can see how devastating that area is to the Lalo. They barely even got through the perimeter defenses before they were all taken out. And now I guess we'll see if the heroes have any chance of moving through that. He wall breaks, but the wall breaker not able to get anything of significance either. His queen is still alive, no ability intact. He's got a couple of headhunters that he could throw into clean up here to try to support. But remember, he needs to reach a 96% or higher to give his team the lead. King has the Phoenix here, so the King could potentially tank all these defenses, and the Rage Tower already went off, so it's not able to get back in action just yet. The Queen goes to the inside. She picks up the Multi-Inferno. King on the outside, working with the Phoenix. King's down now. Phoenix on his own, and the Queen trying to hang on the best she can, but once again, the Rage Tower triggers one more time, boosts the damage of the defenses, and shuts the heroes down. It is so close there! The Electro Titan takes out the Scattershot with the Aura damage over the wall and that ties the war we are exactly tie percentage point for percentage point synthase live what does he have here please tell me he has hogs no he does not but you know what he does have synthe is taking a combined lalo what is this it is okay we, i need to re regroup myself here this is a zap and skelly donut in the same attack and that is going to leave very little spells for anything outside of that. He uses the Skelly Donut to take out the CC and the Monolith. And he picks up the Defensive Grand Warden. And then he combines it with the Earthquake. The Earthquake would be, work as a backup for the Skelly Donut to make sure that it secures the buildings it's going after. While also weakening up the buildings that he wanted to clear out of the core of the base. So the base has the core removed with no CC to fight. But you have to keep in mind... While you did get a lot of value out of the Skelly Donut and Lightning, you're now left with the rest of the base here and no spell support. Barely able to keep his queen intact there. And now he can pop her ability to secure the town of takedown and maybe get a little bit of additional cleanup up there as well. But she's not going to pick up anything after that for the most part. She'll round around the poison. So actually, you know what? She may get the air defense over there, which would be really nice. And the king will intercept her though. But down south, the road champion worked with the king. They... Get the support of the Phoenix there to keep on pushing. You'll get the Expo down. You'll get the scatter shot down. If you get that Multi-Inferno down, that would be ideal. Obviously, not going to get that. But you know what he could do? He could put the Stone Slammer into it if he chose to. Uh, he hasn't deployed the Stone Slammer just yet. And he'll come in behind the Sweeper for the other Sweeper. But this... Uh, this okay, look. He, he is. He's going to throw in a Rocket Balloon and a regular Balloon. And he will get that Sweeper down. The Slammer will begin on the left side and go into that multi-inferno to deal with it directly. Very smart here. He got the defensive queen out of the way. That's why he started in that area of the base there to make sure he got that, that down early. The rage tower is not going to do a ton because he already cleared some of the big defenses around it. It's just a matter of can he get into the minimum range of the eagle artillery before he gets a big double damage strike into this big pack of balloons. He's inside the minimum range. The slabber opens up into a dragon rider and more balloons and he easily coasts his way through. It's a triple. An X team or <laughs> I keep calling them X team. They got a uh, Imperium Titan X Sports. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, Will get this triple and put some pressure over to Entropy. They're gonna have to get a triple in response if they want to stay pace, but they did that already and they can very reasonably do it again. Nicely done, Synthe. Leo will strike for Entropy and we'll see if he can now take down Synthe himself after that commanding triple on their open attack. We have a Queen Charge into Lalo. Got a log launcher. He'll start up at the top of the base here with a giant and a couple of wizards to get the funnel formed. And take out a cannon. So far, so good. Wall break over the side of the base will get him into that area. It looks like he's going for a dual entry, though. King and the warden 
will go in in one section with log ledger. It's a kill squad. You know, a lot of times when we see this attack lately, we see it with the recall to go in and secure the town hall before we begin with this phase. And that means that a lot of times we will want the queen to cross the entire base and secure the town I'll take down where if you use the recall you can secure the town I'll take down and then redeploy and then start to cross the base so I have seen this attack were great in the past but there's always a large inherent risk when you are paired it with the recall and so we'll see how he handles it but the log launcher does open up before it gets this multi inferno down the core of the base but the yetis will move in and try to finish the job warden was following the king over the right side of the base there but the defensive king intercepts the offensive king and he ends up going to Phoenix there. He should be able to finish it off and get off those ground skillers over there. That's kind of a nuisance. He needs to get that king down so his uh, other troops in the core of the base there aren't running into any problems. But he was able to clear the defensive queen, which was huge. The warden needs to get the last strike onto this multi-inferno before he goes down. If he goes to the storage first, he's in trouble. And that does happen. His, his healers are getting targeted by the multi now, so that's even worse. Queen, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, okay, she's, her healers are safe. Did he have a wall break to try to transition her through that compartment? She's going to go back into the range of the multi-inferno, which means her healers are all going down. Now, he's going to be forced to lalo through the town hall. I don't think he has a choice anymore. His queen will go to ability. He'll go invisible and for... Oh, my God! What? That was clever! That was extremely clever! He makes the buildings invisible while also protecting his queen and forces her forward. Now he can still triple this. He's got a haste and he's got a rage. He'll haste his way into the scatter shot. The defensive heroes are out of the way. He'll rage up down south, and that'll get him into the monolith. He needs one more strike on that multi inferno, though, and that is going to be very difficult to grab. If he can get that headhunter to go in and support. But it can't because the defensive king. The scatter shot shuts it down to the right side. The monolith holds the line along with that multi inferno. And after a very intense moment there to secure the town hall with the queen, he does still secure it into a high percentage. It's going to be a lead here for Imperium Titan. But it is very close on this one. Almost able to recover it. And a large risk there. Didn't pan out, but didn't end in disaster. Almualin, live for Imperium Titans. Looks like he uses a couple of rocket balloons to go in on the right side of the base here to go form the funnel for the queen, taking out the air defense. The queen will charge forward to the town hall. This one will be using a recall spell. So he'll just charge the town hall. If he gets anything extra at the town hall while he already has a rage active, then might as well take advantage of it, right? But he did deploy all of his healers here. Maybe banking on his, his, uh, Unicorn dying, but no. Unicorn survived and he left a healer behind. Probably should have deployed one less healer and then sent out that healer late after he redeployed the queen. So a little bit of a mistake there. But a lot of times when you're charging the town hall like that, then the unicorn ends up dying anyways. And we'll see the unicorn probably die to the scatter shot splash damage if she doesn't take a weird angle to get to it. But He'll just have to work with what he's got here, and... Oh, actually, that unicorn's actually a pretty good health. I, I take that all back. He gets the scatter shot down. The unicorn's still alive. He was able to use that blimp to sail into the compartment on the right flank of the queen, which will force her off to the left. That baby dragon doing some good work. And the baby dragon will take the arc tower before turning around and assisting at cleaning up the pups. It's still at good HP and is doing some fantastic work here alongside the queen. It even absorbs a black air bomb as it was starting to move a little bit into a higher threat area as he moves into the core of the base there the queen will tag out the sweeper the queen will then pick up the monolith he's got a lot of force moving left side there with the lalo he's got all of his blues deployed though so he has to go to the outside of the base there for just a moment to pick up the cannon a little bit of a problem there we're champion to the back side of the base here avoiding the single inferno range and we'll try to make our way into the multi the king down south as well he's got the headhunters protected by that invisibility surging under the lalo is able to lock out the defensive queen but isn't it enough to take her down i think it actually might be lost his world champion to the single inferno now queen's beating through the wall but she's gonna have to go through another wall to get to these last couple of defenses so no queen ability but he does have the diggy and the diggy may 
sneak in in there and assist the queen and give the support that he needs. But the warden's still a full HP. The warden will tag this multi inferno if he can get off the storage. Come on, this is so close. Don't throw now. Queen does break the wall. He steps his way in, tags the single inferno, tags the multi inferno, and he has enough troops still surviving to power through this wall and take out the final storage. So Al Wallen comes a little close on this one here. Like, it looks like he's got a lot, but if that queen got targeted by the single inferno and didn't get it down in time, he would have been in a lot of a lot of trouble here, but he, he does make it through. So easy day here. Imperium Titan has two triples on the board. Troya live for Entropy Gaming. We have a queen charge into Hog Miner Hybrid, and we'll see if they can stay pace and match that triple. They need a triple now, otherwise they're gonna fall two stars behind. So this is a critical point of the war here. He sends in a wall breaker onto the right side of the base. It just sails all the way in and it doesn't open up any walls. So uh, hopefully the queen will cooperate. She should hug the walls here pretty tight and she should go in, but she needs to preserve her ability until that happens. And she's starting to recover HP now. So the healers never got targeted by that arch tower, so that's a good sign. Since in a hog rider, the hog rider will work with that balloon and pull the defensive CC out. He'd like to lock onto the defensive CC and take it out there before he locks onto the town hall. Otherwise, not only would he have the invisibility tower that would take the town hall invisible, but it would be at a weird timing that would definitely throw off the whole attack. But he will get the defensive ice goals pulled. Very, very smart with how we played that. Always nice to get the CC taken out there as soon as you get the Expos off of the Queen and take the majority of the damage. In fact, almost all the damage off the Queen. But now he needs to rage up here as soon as he locks out of the Town Hall. Pop one shot and freeze it. Lock up that Invisible Tower so it cannot go off. And now the Queen can make her way forward. But he definitely needs to be keeping an eye on that Monolith right there. The entire area goes invisible. The Queen's under heavy, heavy damage over there. But she goes invisible herself. And she'll keep on working. Her attack speed is slowed down significantly by the Town Hall Poison. She'll pop her ability and she'll get the Defensive Road Champion down, make her way forward, rage up as the Hogs and Miners pick up the tanking of the Monolith, but actually it's not the Hogs and Miners, it's the Road Champion getting targeted by the Monolith, and that's a big problem here. That's gonna really, really hinder the back end of the attack here. He needs to keep her as healthy as possible. I mean, forced to ability early is not where he wanted to be, but he does have the Road Champion sitting back for just a moment. She's getting healed up by that heal spell, but she's taking Eagle Artillery Strikes on top of everything else there. I mean, out of everything that could have been targeted in that mix, for the Roar Champion to take the hits is not a good thing. And now when he arrives into the multi inferno in the scatter shot, his Roar Champion is not there to support in the backside of the base. And that is very unlucky. It's very unlucky. But that's the way it plays out sometimes. It's going to be a defense. I think he had a really solid chance if his Roar Champion didn't get targeted by everything under the sun. And as a result, it is going to be a two-star lead into Imperium Titan's favor. So there goes the Queen's healers. Definitely needed the all of these down here to the Roar Champion. She probably could have handled a lot of it. Because a lot of times, if you have the Hogs initially to tank the, the Monolith, then when you get past the Monolith, then your Roar Champion can pick up the tanking on things like the backside scatter shots and the miners will be all this left and they duck her underground. And then you a lot of times even have the hogs out of the siege barracks that will go in and reinforce once again after that and give her the support that she needs. So unfortunately, a little unlucky. I really like the plan though. I think that had a solid chance of pulling through. Just uh gotta keep that Roar Champion alive. Two star lead as Tryhard sends in a queen charge into mass hog riders. I mean, if Synthay's not going to use hogs, then somebody needs to. I like uh, Synthay's attack, though. Definitely a very unique twist on a hog or Lalo attack there. I suppose it could have been done with either. But I think uh, out of the two, neither of them are using a heal spell. Let's just point that out here. This is a hog attack that has no heal spells. He needs to get the Hogs to go in, probably after an area that has a Rage Tower, I'd assume. A lot of times people like to break out the Hog Attacks to rush an area because of their fast movement speed into a Rage Tower. But this base doesn't have a Rage Tower. It's all Poison Towers across the board. The Queen moving strong into the 
Expo will handle that without any issue. The defensive queen stands up ahead and he should have no problem taking her out over the walls there. He can't reach this multi or this, uh, not a multi. Yeah, the multi. He can't reach the multi over the wall, but you know what he can reach? He can reach the eagle artillery with that dragon martyr that fell, followed up the queen. Log Launcher will try to give him access into the core of the base, although the queen will probably veer off to the left side of that compartment and may exit the compartment on the left side before the walls even get opened unless the king can cut her off in time. So the king's doing a good job of doing that, though. And the walls are opened up while he was delayed fighting the defensive lava hound. He takes the multi inferno down. The queen has a lot of target options off on this left side. And if there's grass skellies to pop in the king, that could pull the queen through the wall. Need to be very, very careful here and have an invisibility on standby to correct the queen's path and if she doesn't want to behave. But he seems to be moving directly forward there. No issues with the queen's pathing and the ice golems that came out of the log launcher will now freeze up this entire area and keep the queen safe as she makes her way forward the hogs go through the town hall typically we don't see hogs going through the town hall they have no heal spell let me remind you of that he's got the diggy there diggy can get some stuns he's got the race to carry the hogs quickly past but the tornado trap is gonna catch him and maybe hold him inside of the poison and they're already at low hp so that's a big issue right now he frees up multi inferno and the expo protect his queen and the remaining hogs that he has here one more freeze to get them through. Road Champion is one of his biggest tools left in the basket. He's got that RC ability that can carry him through a lot of the backside defenses. He did time some headhunters with the Queen, and the Queen was able to quickly move in, get through that wall, lock onto the scatter shot. RC ability goes off, and Trahard will get another triple on the board here, time permitting into Imperium Titan's favor. What a show that they're putting on for us today. It is mayhem out here as Imperium Titans are feeling unstoppable with these attacks. That is three triples and a time fail. Very nicely done. But uh, Entropy Game is in a lot of trouble now. Nice chunk of change here to play for and Entropy is maybe not going to get a chunk of that if they can't pull off a triple here and then Get a massive defense. At this point, they would have to receive a one-star defense to pull back in this war. But I'm also kind of curious to see if Imperium Titans can put up 14 stars in this war. Looks like a Super Archer bomb on this one here. Double clone. The clones are able to spawn the Super Archers. A little bit more internal on the base there. Notice how he doesn't drop the clones directly on top of the Super Archers. He clones just a little bit towards the core. Trying to encourage them to move towards the Monolith here. Which would be a key target for them. You got the Town Hall. Got the Inferno out of the way. They'll lock onto the Tesla. Not the Monolith just yet. The Lava Hound right there as he runs out of the invisibility. And he will leave the Monolith up. So, it would have been nice to get it down. It's not the end of the world that he didn't get it. But if you're doing a heavy troop attack like this, then you kind of would like to have him still around. Looks like the Wizard and that one Electric Titan will evaporate this Lava Hound really quick. This is always so satisfying. Watch that. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love to see... The Electro Titans break a lava hound like that. It's always, uh, <laughs> just makes me giggle. All right, the Warden will work with the main pack as they surge across the right side of the base and keep a close eye on the single inferno and the monolith to see what kind of damage they can do, which kind of cards they can reach on this attack here. But he'll make his way towards the Eagle Artillery. The Royal Champion will be going into the core of the base to try to handle those. Remember, no spell support here, so... He's relying 100% on the Diggy to get the stuns to get through these key defenses. And right now, the Royal Champion is not covered by the Ward ability. So he will get the stun with the Diggy onto the single Inferno. But the Royal Champion dies out. Queen will take over the Diggy here. And unfortunately, she's getting targeted by the Monolith as well. So that is Monolith now claiming two heroes. And that is why he wanted to take it down. That's why it was such an important target. Guys, it is a miss here. He's not going to be able to pull through. That Monolith caused way too much damage and is going to set him back way too far here to have a chance to get the triple. So that means that Imperium Titans is almost guaranteed, barring a disconnect from taking the win here. So now we just need to see if they can get in here and put up one of those rare 14 star wars which is insanity in a town hall 15 defensive meta nice try here me but this one obviously not gonna go through uriam will begin the final attack here for imperium titans with the king going after the eagle artillery 
The Yeti form to follow with the wizard on the right side. So I assume a queen will deploy over there. Yep. And the queen will take the damage off of the king's flank while also assisting with the funnel for him. And we'll see if he can put up that 14th star for Imperium Titans, giving them a near perfect war, barring that time fail that they had on their open attack. But he does go ahead and use the lightning all the way on the inside of the base there. The log launcher will actually remember the log launcher hits four targets. So that makes the walls or it makes the logs go further than they otherwise would. And they could potentially go all the way in and maybe get this rage tower out of the way. That'd be really helpful. Not quite. Not quite. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take that. He also doesn't activate the town hall somehow. Uh, I thought for sure it'd activate right there with the, with the logs being thrown through. They didn't quite have the range to be able to connect to it. That's fine, though, because he's quickly approaching 50%, and he's not taking any additional damage on the approach, which is actually helpful for him right now. He goes ahead and makes the Royal Champion invisible, which causes the defensive Ice Golems to go over the Queen. Hopefully, the Royal Champion doesn't turn around. The Royal Champion is hitting 50% right now as she engages that rage tower and she will take it down to the final strike there and she did not take any town hall damage on her approach now the question is the queen with the road champion clearing a handful of targets in there he kind of would like the queen to go in and secure the town hall so he drops in a couple balloons to try to encourage the queen to take the turn in there and I don't know if he ever expected the queen to go this far through the base and never even open up this opportunity, but she does step her way through. I think it'd be worth a freeze right now. He pops the queen ability. He will get distracted by ground skillies around the town hall. And a lot of balloons are surging into the top of the base here. Freeze up the town hall. The queen locks onto it. There's the tornado trap. The tornado trap may hold the balloons at bay just long enough. Red air bombs are going off, hitting the entire pack there. That's, that is absolutely painful. He pops the ward ability at the same time that the red air bombs are hitting, but he was not able to avoid that damage. Ice Hound travels through. Got more balloons to meet up with Ice Hound on the backside of the base. Looking pretty clean overall. Lots of balloons are still moving. Ice Hound pops and locks up the scatter shot. He's got the rage. He'll throw the rage down to try to push through that scatter shot. He's still got an invisibility tower protecting a monolith, so he will need to end in that area so he can overwhelm it. He freezes up the monolith. He is not going to be able to get the one shot here, but the warden is still moving strong. He's got a bunch of red air bombs going off. He'll skip the monolith for now, and he'll have to go back for it. But a lot of minions and pups have arrived into the area and could potentially distract it. Look, we see green beams off of the model but now they turn purple as they turn out of the warden warden goes down they overwhelm it he's got two seconds and no it is another time fail for imperium titans only 13 stars but they are six buildings off of a perfect war with two time fails very very strong performance that will win 99 percent of wars right there down 15 and uh I think that would uh, take out the majority of teams that exist in the top of Clash of Clans Esports. Nicely done. Earn their win today. The war is out of reach here for Entropy, but Lelentos will make his final attack. Looks like a Queen Charge into Dragon Riders. A bit of lightning to pair with it. Now, if you were... If we could pause it, where would you send the lightning? I feel like maybe Rage Tower and Inferno, or actually this Inferno, right? that grab that and get the queen to go around the top and in the town hall oh maybe not <laughs> i don't know i'm just guessing i'm just spitballing here looks like he will use it on the bottom inferno instead and the other rage tower i mean i guess you need to if you're going to use lightning and you have a base with two rage towers like you kind of have to hit one of them like you don't really have that much of a choice but he will use that as a funnel the same as he would if he would have done it at the top of the base the king will go get the final strikes on the defensive world champion that world champion jumps the wall that's kind of expected it was, her pad was close enough to the wall that she would have no issues jumping through and he'll finish clearing out the compartment and the queen will make her way towards the town hall. So one way or another, it's the same approach. It's just mirrored to the other side of the base, but he needs to get through the monolith. The queen almost goes to a building there, but he gets to freeze onto it and locks it down. A couple balloons come in on the side wall. The air defense was under the freeze. So he was able to pick up some of these outside defenses. The queen makes her way forward here, gets delayed from turning over and attacking the lava hound while the lava hound would potentially pull her off of the monolith and continue to sustain that damage but the queen takes the town hall i wasn't sure she's gonna get it there but she takes the town hall before she switches to the monolith quickly pops the lava hound 
Did I say Monolith? He, he, yeah, he got the Town Hall before he switched over to the Lava Hound. That's what I meant to say. But you know what? Is uh, Healers just took a Black Air Bomb and an Eagle Artillery Strike. So they are very, very low HP. This Queen is very vulnerable right now. She pops her ability and we'll get through a couple more defenses over there. I don't know why the Eagle Artillery has been attacking the Queen's Healers so much lately. Like, that feels like it is becoming a nuisance like i don't know what they did with the ai but they definitely i feel like they need to tweak that a little bit there because it shouldn't be able to target onto the queen's heal is that consistently because i see that it causing a lot of problems with a lot of attacks but he does have the freezes for the back end of the base here as he moves through this other rage tower he's got the rc working through she's able to pop her building clear a lot of the defenses he will lose his world champion to this raged up ground expo but he was able to clear the bulk of the targets that would cause the most problems and now he just needs to make his way through this last air defense. The Warden has the Diggy here. So as he moves forward into this air defense, if he can get the Warden to target onto it, he will get the stun. And that will reduce the damage. A double black air bomb claims both of his Dragon Riders. And now the Warden is on his own. He's got some time to work with here. There's a couple of nuisance ground skellies running around. But how much health does this Electric Owl have? Okay, Electric Owl has really good HP right now. And could definitely tank the Warden through the archer tower to close out the attack this is gonna be close i am a little bit concerned about time right now but logic owl able to quickly mow down those ground skellies and get everybody into the last couple of buildings here i think he's gonna get this cc down over there not really worried about this so this group is on their own five seconds to go take down this collector one more strike one more strike it's already weakened and no not able to take it lelantos 99 percent to close out the war and they will almost pick up another star uh or another first triple i mean <laughs> on the final attack there so two time fails for them as well a little bit rough or was it three time fails yeah 98 96 99 take